Warning, this video is based solely on my opinion. Not all Pokemon are created equal. Some really just suck. Yo, guys, it's Raymond. Welcome to this week's episode of Redesigning Pokemon I Don't Like. This week, we're going to be looking at a Pokemon introduced in the Unova region, Generation 5, Numbers 557 and 558, Dwebble and Crustle. Let's get it! Look at this guy. Oh my god, look at this guy. Give his design 10,000 Raymonds out of a possible 10 Raymonds. He's got these pincers, super simplistic. I love his little rock shell that he's got going on. I feel like his design can span over generations. I love, love Dwebble. I mean, uh, hold on. I love Dwebble. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a lot. I wanna try to speed through this as fast as I can. We're gonna keep a lot of details the same. We're gonna keep the pincers the same, legs, rocks, face, everything. I love Dwebble's design. We're not here for Dwebble. But, you know, people ask me why I always draw the Pokemon that I do like and why I redesign those as well. And honestly, I just like drawing them. You know, they're are designs that I like and there are designs that turn into designs that I don't like and I so of course I would enjoy drawing the designs that I like like that's I thought it was that simple anyway I'm going in for the same color lines the only difference is that I'm gonna add this spike I think you guys have already seen that I love adding more spikes to things I just feel like Dwebble has like like Dwebble should have belonged in the first generation he would have made a great first generation Pokemon. I feel like he embodies everything that Pokemon is, you know, with the whole catching bugs as its origin, you know, rocks. <laughs> like, it, it's very simplistic, so I think it's really cool that, I don't know why it took so long, but, you know, we made it. Uh, here's a little bit of Dwebble trivia for you. It says, no other Pokemon has the same egg group combination as Dwebble and its evolution. Dwebble, redesign. Can't really fix something that's not broken. We're gonna go right along. Along here to this monstrosity. What is this? Look at his face. I will give him this. I like his pincers. I like the design of his pincers. I don't like that they're coming out of nowhere because if you look at his legs, those are coming out of the rock. And speaking of the rock, the rock is somehow cut perfectly into a square cube. Like, I just, I don't get it. So in all honesty, I'll give this design a five out of 10. And I kind of feel like I'm being generous. And I, I, I feel like I'm a humble person. So I'm not saying my designs are that much greater, if anything. But I feel like Dwebble had so much potential to become... <sighs> to become a great Pokemon in general. Not just looks, not just stats, but both. And you have to realize that I'm a fan of rock Pokemon. I don't choose rock Pokemon because I don't like them. I'm a huge fan of rock Pokemon and that's why I criticize them, you know? I love rock Pokemon. So it's only natural for me to judge rock, steel, ground types a little harder than, than any other types because those are the ones that I'm gonna put on my team. I'm gonna be out in battles. Those are the Pokemon that are gonna be representing me. I want them to look fly as hell, but I feel like I'm getting on a tangent. Since I'm on that tangent, we'll just go into the question of the day. And the question of the day is, what was your first Pokemon team? First game you had, what were the six Pokemon that you had? I remember in Pokemon Sapphire, I had a Blaziken, I had a Loudred, pretty sure I had a Tropius, Absol, oh, I love Absol, Latios, and Ky Kyogre. Pretty basic team, but I loved them. Those, that team had a lot of memories for me. And I wanna know what your first team is. I wanna know if you had a special memory with them. And you never know, maybe I might pick one of your team members to redesign. Going back 
to the real star of the show, kind of been neglecting describing him. I made the rock a little more natural shaped. I made it more of like a huge boulder, almost like a mountain, like he's carrying a mountain around. I kept his pincers pretty similar. Uh, I like the design, just really. So I'm gonna keep the pincers pretty similar. I added his little legs right there on his belly. Um, his legs are pretty similar. I made him thicker since he's walking around with that boulder. You know, I made his legs a lot thicker, make him bulkier. I gave him eyelashes, eyebrows, question mark. I just thought they looked cool. You know, I try to make his eyes similar to Dwebble's eyes. A couple of you guys are asking me what kind of colors, what kind of tools I use for my redesigns, you know, here on my channel. And I have a video that will teach you all of that. It's called How to Paint Like Pokemon it's a Tutorial. I'll leave the link down in the bio. Check it out. Let me know if it helps you. Follow along. These are tips. This is free info that I'm giving you. Totally free. You guys check it out. A lot of people have already told me that it's helped them. So why not let it help you? And it's crazy because when they draw Crustle, like at the beach or in dunes and stuff, they they look out of place. Like they're just a bunch of square boulders out in in the natural world. It just it's weird to me. So I'm gonna make the rock, you know, more natural, more. You know, the lines are gonna curve a little bit more on the little, these yellow stripe things that he has. Going in for some shading here. Obviously, I'm keeping the same color scheme. I don't wanna change any of that. I like his colors, you know? I like how he turns a little darker. He's got that kind of Charmander to Charmeleon kind of deal. I would love to have a big hermit crab follow me around. That'd be awesome. And as I'm drawing these pincers, like, I can't even imagine how Crustle would be able to cut those boulders. Here's some totally random Crustle trivia for you. It says, Crustle represents July in the Unova horoscope. Which is pretty crazy. I did not plan this at all. So I guess that's fitting, huh? Crustle redesign, baby. We're gonna go over here to our handy dandy chart that never fails us. There's basically no change to Dwebble's design. I just added that spike there. Moving on to Crustle's design. Basically, new rock, new face. Uh, pincers are similar, but different. You know, his legs are a lot bulkier. I wanna make him look more like a hermit crab, not like a crab with a rock on him. A couple of you guys have been asking to see the originals and the redesign side by side. How many of you guys see him right here? I do wanna let you guys know that this episode is the preseason finale of redesigning Pokemon I don't like. I'm gonna be taking a little break for a couple weeks. I will be continuing random redesign roulette. I'll probably add some kind of commentary to that. You guys have been asking for that. In the meantime, follow me, Instagram, at underscore Raymond, Twitter, at underscore Raymond, and YouTube, you guessed it, Raymond. And comment down below, let me know what Pokemon you want me to do next. Shout out to Dwebble. I love you, Dwebble. Shout out to Crustle. I kind of love you, Crustle. And once again, thank you guys for watching this episode of Redesigning Pokemon I Don't Like.